Hello, everybody. This is BeastGab100 here with... Crystal Master 4 here. And welcome back to some more Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the previous episode, we had wrapped up at the Great Archive and went back to the bakery where things quickly uh, took a turn for the worst. Seems that Phoenix, Baker Phoenix, is being <laughs> summoned to court. Because someone told him to. Because mm. of Espella Cantabella. The, the heinous witch. Mm. Let's continue. Oh boy. Let's see who's speak who's who's doing the monologue in oh, never mind. Cutscene. Badoop. Probably need that. <laughs> Money, that's all. And you'll give it to us, won't you, without any fuss? I sense magic being used. Magic is Ill illegal. Chapter 2, The Fire Witch. Does that mean that Himiko would be a convicted felon in this world? Yes. Good. I'm very okay with this. <laughs> uh, Alright. Get out of my way, notifications. What? What is this place? Room is lit, but somehow so that it's still somehow dark, and the atmosphere feels heavy. All right, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. All right, I'm also trying to enunciate more so that I myself through the echoing effect. <laughs> it doesn't and help. Else. It doesn't help that sometimes you're just cutting out. Oh boy. Yeah. Nick, what are we doing in a place like this? How should I know? We're just a couple of bakers. I don't think they brought us here to make bread. Give me a minute. My fucking glasses are foggy. Yeah. It's like the fucking... This is just, this is just a big problem with people who are glasses. Things get super foggy and you can't see the text. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's way, way better. Nice! Is it me, or is that guard staring daggers at us right now? Uh, that's you. Captain? No. Uh, uh oh, uh, uh, Mr. Roy! Look, Maya! No? Close, but no cigar. <laughs> Uh, Espella, what exactly is going on? I'm sorry. I was the one who sent for you both. You sent for us? I... I'm being put on trial. What? What happened? I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on. I didn't do anything wrong. I couldn't possibly murder anyone. But murder? I beg you, Mr. Wright. Please, I need your help. Just one more time. Ah, uh, so she remembers. Mm-hmm. You need my help. What could I possibly do? Yeah, you're right. She does remember, which is strange. It, it never mm. clicked before, yeah, but that's kind of strange that she does remember. Spell, I'm just a baker. 
The only thing I know about law is how not to get on the wrong side of it. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so sure about that, Nick. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold hold on a sec. Aspella. What did you just say? You said you needed Nick's help just one more time? One more time? I'm not uh, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's not exactly remember, but it's a hunch thing. Mm -hmm. But when the knights came and took me, a vision suddenly appeared in my mind. It's like I was on that's a raven for some reason. <laughs> it was Mr. Wright. You're reaching a little far back for that reference there, Chris. Mm -hmm. He was fighting for me, defending me, with awesome music in the background as it was do going on. That brave blue figure is as clear as his day. He was fighting me. <laughs> he was fighting me. <laughs> he fights his friends. <laughs> I was fighting for you. I, I was fighting you? Yes, you beat me that. into a bloody pulp. <laughs> well, maybe that would explain why I'm in that Marvel vs. Capcom game. <laughs> no way! That's impossible. I mean, it's like I already said. I'm just a baker. I have a hard enough time rolling dough, let alone defending someone in court. I thought the same thing too at first, but I didn't. I don't think that's quite true. You and Maya, sometimes, somewhere, you helped me. You fought for me as a defender. You are the Maya of this game. <clears throat> yeah. Even though we have a Maya of this game. Nope. <laughs> nope. Commander? I forgot that's what they call these people here. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Nick? I wish I knew, Maya. Hearing a spell I mention a Commander. Can't help but feel something inside of me just burning at the mention of it. A key defender! East team, head forth, you two. There you go, it's supposed to be deeper. Yeah. Head forth? Um, where exactly are we going? To the gate room in which today's trial will be taking place. The chamber fair! Oh yeah! Ch chamber A fire? Make haste, if you will be in if you've been a moment late, a get you will be delivered immediately. Wow, harsh. What? No way. What? No. No. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> so Wright. I am truly sorry, Mr. Wright. I know this is also sudden. It's a lost cause, isn't it? Well then, let's head inside, Spella. Huh? This overwhelming pressure feels so familiar somehow. Almost like deja vu. Mr. Wright? Let's go, Maya. We'll get a better idea once the trial gets underway. Uh, all right, let's do. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, let's do it to it, Nick. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a drink for this one. What is this heat? It's like an oven in here. I will now pronounce the verdict. This court finds the accused guilty of being a witch. No! I'm not a witch! Please! Please, I beg you to reconsider! I'm not... Witches are to be cast straight into the hellfire! What? This is the... the witch's court.
You like witch trials? <laughs> Here's uh, some actual witch, witch trials. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if that was just me, but the the model that they used for the pros or uh, yeah for the prosecution in this court, it almost at a glance reminded me of Grossberg. I don't know why. I didn't see it, so I don't know how correct you are or how weird your brain is being right now. It was the same coloration and everything. Anyway, mm. so, how you feeling, Nick? I'd forgotten what this felt like up until now. Huh? The butterflies in my stomach and tension so thick you could slice it with a knife. All of these feelings. These are all feelings I'm definitely familiar with. Anyway. We're here to fight for Spella. And get her out of this place. That's right. Also, uh, just as a, as a heads up, don't expect an accent for this next voice. Like, it's going to be hard enough just to try to match the, the pitch. The judge? No, not the judge. No! No! Didn't we have a plan for the judge? I have no I, I have I have no recollection of what we were planning for this judge. You, I know about the first one. You you had some sort of idea going on. Did I? Maybe we we like alternated. Could just my child voice, honestly. Uh if it's this guy. You could. Defender. Yes, your honor. Your Limited honor voice face. acting. I've not seen you in any <laughs> yep. But no matter. Start by stating your name, Defender. Yes, Your Honor. My name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Baker. <laughs> A baker? <laughs> I asked him to come, my lord. I want him to represent me. This court dictates that the accused is free to assign a defender of their choosing, my lord. Doesn't... <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're gonna look at you weird because of it. Yep. At any rate, the results of this trial shall not change. That aside, I've not yet seen hide nor hair of the Inquisitor assigned to this trial. Mm. Inquisitor. Oh. Mm. Right. Inquisitor. Oh right. Up, 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 up. <laughs> it was voice acted. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> no one's there. Put an echo effect over it, Rob. No. To fail to appear in court, I will have no choice but to dismiss all charges. Kill the Inquisitor. He is an Inquisitor of high caliber, but if he does not come forward soon, this trial will end, and victory will then be declared in favor of this baker. Hold it! Here we go. Here he is! There he is. Look at this fire emblem looking motherfucker. <laughs> Knights of the court, I have but one question for you both. Are you prepared to cross swords? Can I also say Barnes is fucking amazing? Mm -hmm. I'm indeed prepared to do battle, my lord. <laughs> Pull out a loaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That shall be your weapon, Baker. Something amiss, Baker? Sorry, Your Honor. I just didn't realize we could have swords here in the courtroom. I mean, you had whips in prior. Mm. Where does this take place in the timeline? It was after uh, Justice for All, right? Yeah. At least after Justice for uh, well, after Trials and Tribulations, I would say. Mm. Sir, Blue Knight. Huh? Your name! What is your fucking name? 
My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a baker. How many times do you make me? It sounds so weird. <laughs> a baker. Nick, quit with the long face. You look miserable. I am miserable. <laughs> yeah. You need to waste your breath. This trial will be over before you can utter a single objection. Untrue. You don't know how this game works. <laughs> For the security of all of Labyrinthia, my blade shall rend your defenses swiftly and without mercy. I remember his voice being deeper. Yeah, I also do. But uh, also, not to spoil anything, but this is one of the t two prosecutors that have swords. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep. It just, it just came to mind. <laughs> That's it, Bonham. Put another one out of their misery. This trial's pointless. Hand down the verdict already. Put that doughy defender on trial too, I say. Bonham, Bonham, Bonham. Now we're good. <laughs> Also, like many other Phoenix Wright games, the, in the beginning, the siding is always towards the prosecution. Mm -hmm. Through threats or other means. <laughs> oh boy, what's with all this excitement? You'd hardly think this is a courtroom. Brown doesn't seem very interested in law, that's for sure. It's like they're all just hoping for a guilty verdict. Inquisitor Barnum, you may begin your opening statement. As you wish, my lord. First, let us begin by recounting the events leading up to the murder. Is that acceptable, Sir Apprentice Baker? Uh, as you wish. Oh, this is so much easier than I thought it would be for Barnum. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting my my mind a little too wrapped up in it. <clears throat> the murder occurred this this very evening. Yesterday there was a heavy rainfall in the area. Eventually it gave way to sunshine, which came just in time for today's parade. Although a few hours after the parade ended, the set the rain set in once more. That must have been when the Spella and the others were at the Great Archive. It continued to rain until just before the incident, which took place on a small path leading to the market. The Qs had been out doing some shopping at the market. She returned home on that very same path. <clears throat> and oh all god! <laughs> and on that forest path, two rogues, named Robs and Mugs, are, s are said to have accosted the accused. Man, uh, totally fitting names, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Capcom. <clears throat> One could assume the accused simply acted in self-defense. I see. Hobbs and Muggs. Those two have appeared in, cor in courts a number of times in the past. Two rogues, huh? So, f so far, it, it may appear that the accused was more the victim. However, the situation soon changed. That's right. The accused, Espella Cantabella, knowingly and mercilessly murdered her two assailants. Cantabella? Girl, isn't she... I always knew she looked suspicious. She... that's allowed. Nice. There's that weird excitement again. I believe we now fully grasp what happened. It is getting late already. Let us begin the trial. Inquisitor Barnum, you may now begin. As you wish, my lord. The Inquisition will now hear eyewitness testimony regarding the night of the murder. I witness testimony? Huh? Looks like this trial's finally getting in our way. Can't back down now. I have to fight. 
but I'm just a simple bread-making baker living a simple bread-making life. <sighs> the situation is more twisted than a pretzel, and I'm smack in the middle of it. I'll eat my way out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to do this to save Espella. Okay, let's see if I can untwist this testimony and put this thing to bed. Yeah, hopefully the echo effect's a little bit more manageable now. Cause it I is. Seek... Oh, I remember him. Mmm. Oh, oh, him. <laughs> oh, these characters. Oh, boy. Allow me to welcome you all. Huh? I call Beardy. Fine. No, that's fine. <clears throat> Allow me to welcome you all. Now, would each of you please state your name and occupation? Hold it! Wait a minute. What's going on here? As I already explained, Sir Apprentice Baker, this is the eyewitness testimony. Yeah, this is one of the really cool things about this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand that, but there are four witnesses. Indeed, as many people inside the courtroom po could pose a health and safety issue. Your Honor, that's uh, not quite what I meant. Witness testimonies, are, witness testimonies are supposed to be done one by one, as in one witness at a time. Oh yeah, should we give should we give them the voices that we initially gave them or what? Because these episodes have come out by this point. I know. Um. Yeah, let's let's try to stick with what we originally did. What did we originally do? I don't know. You were the one that did Mary. Did I? Yes. What was the voice I gave her? <sighs> Fuck. Hold on, folks. <laughs> that goat's pain. <laughs> That's also like doing it right in that girl's ears. Yep. Okay. Go on. I, I, mm, I almost lost it. Okay. What are you talking about, child? We'd be here all night if we did that. Oh, that's right, young man. And witness the very hand of fate reach out to us this evening. Um, can we hurry this along, perhaps? These flowers won't sell themselves as much as my boss wishes they would. Hi, Kira. Hi, Knightley. He reminds me of, uh, <laughs> Victor Kudo. <laughs> yeah, like a younger Victor Kudo. Um, if he was the war and yeah. also medieval times. The path to knight knighthood is an arduous one, but I remain steadfast in my resolve as I travel down this long road. I shall not falter. I will be victorious. I forgot about you. <laughs> I forgot about your flimsy sword. <laughs> Who cares? Just question them all at once. You already know the girl in the cage did it. Let's get on with it. Get on with it! Get on with it! Yeah, I'll finish this already. I'd like to go back home and get to bed. How will Phoenix wriggle his way out of this one? Witnesses? Again, state your names and occupations. I am known as Wordsmith. But what is a name? How doth one describe an occupation like the bubbling of a babbling book? Book. <laughs> book. <laughs> <laughs> I flow gracefully around the rocks and the breathe that is life, never a worry in my mind. Right. So I guess that means he's jobless. <laughs> My name's Mary, and this darling kid is Snowy. Yeah, hey, you voice the you voice the goat. Well. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> Snowy and I often uh, that that's not the right voice. Did he hear me? The edge of town is a delicious fresh milk. Milk. 
mean it like that doesn't often uh, often doesn't happen overnight. I walk my hands to the bone, squeezing each drop out, literally. That sounds like pretty frightening. I'm Kira. I'm a flower seller. Thank you. Mm. If you would all be so kind, feel free to purchase one of my beautiful flowers at any time during the trial. Just throw your money down here. Just, just throw it at me, it's fine. There's no way I'll sell them all by morning. Oh, the life of a flower girl is so hard. You think the other way around, considering the atmosphere that we're in right now. Yeah. Eesh, talk about a hard sell. Oh boy. My name is Knightley. I aim to join the, the town's order of knights. I study day and night, though I'm still but a mere squire. Hello, is it a... Hmm? No, 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 I was just saying, like, I'm pretty sure when I first saw this guy, I thought his name was Nidal. <laughs> so I've always called him Nidal. Joining the Knights of the Inquisition is my life's ambition, and I, Knightly, will do whatever necessary to join. So he's jobless, too. <clears throat> Honorable Witnesses, I ask that you show this court your best when delivering your testimonies. Hi, Crom. Fuck. <laughs> hey, it's fitting. Uh, you know what? I'm sticking with it. I, yeah, I'm, it's I, fitting. I, I already lost the voice. I knew it was going to happen. Now, tell us what exactly you all saw on this ill-fated eve. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, delicious scent of mid-evening dinner permeated the air. A light soft shone faintly in the distance. Monks grabbed the girl by the arm and it looked like he was almost there. It looked like he almost pushed it to the ground. I heard a faint voice cry out. The next moment, the two villainous men burst into flames. There was no trace of fire to be seen in the area. Without a doubt, magic must have been used. M magic? Sir Apprentice Baker, you may now begin your interrogation. I have but one piece of advice. I suggest you pay it heed. Do not waste the court's time by grilling these witnesses over irrelevant nonsense, Sir Apprentice Baker. But that's my thing! <laughs> Are you alright, Nick? They sure love calling you an Apprentice Baker, huh? Well, I was the one who kept calling myself <laughs> that, so of course. Yep. I'll be honest with you, Maya. I have no idea how I'm feeling right now, but I know it's all up to me. As her defender, a spell's fate is in my hands. I have to believe in her, and I need to start believing in myself. I can do this. I believe a spell is innocent, and I'll fight until the very end to prove it. <laughs> So you bumped your mic, and the picture that that pops into my head is like he's talking, and then he just suddenly like fucking buckles and hits his head on the on the desk. And I'll find you the very ah! Oh my god! Ow, that hurt! No, but, but the thing is, no, the funny, the, the funnier thing in my mind is like he doesn't react; he just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> now fight until the very end to prove it. It's <laughs> just on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's spirit. We can do this thing, Nick. Now get up. Get up. Nick. 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 Okay. Uh, I feel like with these ones we have to press. Yep. Yeah. Press it. Yeah, my L button works. <clears throat> what time would that be exactly? Dinner time. When else would the scent of dinner be in the air? If not dinner time, do you see? I mean, people could be making dinner, in which it wouldn't necessarily be dinner time yet. Also, it's super subjective. <laughs> because my dinner is usually around 5 o'clock, while others could be like 8 or 9 o'clock, so... Or one in the morning. Or one in the morning. 
Not so much. Sun had already set by that time. <clears throat> that should be adequate. Sun had already set? Um, so you clearly witnessed what happened tonight, is that correct? I have been dubbed a witness, thus I must clearly have witnessed something, do you see? In that case, how much light was there in the immediate area at the time? Enough that the nose on my face, but not enough to see the trees ahead, do you see? No, 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 that doesn't add up. The area is completely dark, then you couldn't possibly have witnessed anything. Do you see? Oh, shit. <laughs> nevertheless, something caught my eye. It was a most ominous sight. Ominous is what that sight was. Yeah, no, Wordsmith, Wordsmith needs to shut the fuck up, or at least talk less. Wordsmith knows how to write a, how, how to write a college essay. Yeah, how to <laughs> write a college essay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just take the same words and flip them. Yep, and needlessly update all the sentences. Uh, okay, I get it. It was ominous. Objection. Oh, for fuck's sake. Poor four, poor four... Why, why was that so hard for me? Poor form of Sir Apprentice Baker. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep switching back between Barnum and Crom. <clears throat> I hate to disappoint you, but there was, there was in fact light in the area. Huh? Take a, take a look at this. This is a drawing of the crime scene based on the witnesses' accounts, as penned by the court illustrator. Oh yeah, that is one of those things in this. Mm-hmm. That. Never heard of that before. Wait, you've never- wait. You've never heard of police, like, illustrators? No, no, no. That, that, that's different. That's a sketch artist for, like, trying to draw suspects to find. The court um, illustrator is, is somebody- it because it's before pictures and all that. Right, well, mm, you're right, you're right, you're right. Look carefully. This shows what it what the scene looked like at the time of the murder. Hmm. An illustration of the highest quality, as always. Pretty good for a court illustrator. Man, you should commission that court illustrator to do things. Or just, just or just me. commission Susie. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, no, let's commission Susie to be the court <laughs> illustrator. <laughs> now that we have established but that by the time the murder occurred, the sun had already set. And so naturally, the defendant was carrying a fire-lit lantern, as we can see. A lantern? <laughs> God, he's, he's got grabby hands a little bit. Although he doesn't- he's got also Rayman hands. Yep. Yes, that's what I was saying earlier. There was a lantern! A lantern, I say! Oh, oh please. <laughs> I have my soul. Uh, did, you totally forgot. To be honest, I did not imagine it would be necessary to present this, but... My lord, here is the lantern in question. This is what was responsible for the light illuminating the area. Very well. Court accepts this into evidence. Yay. Speaking of which, Inquisitor Barnum, in this drawing, the accused seems to be holding a milk bucket of sorts. What became of it? How can you tell it's milk? If anything, it looks like water. <clears throat> <laughs> that is a strange case indeed, my lord. The that bucket seemingly disappeared from the murder scene. That's actually very important to it, know. It is. The milk bucket disappeared, you say? There's been talk of wolves living in the nearby forest. It is thought they often make off with the items they find on the ground. Yeah, but that bucket looked filled. How is it, how is a wolf carrying a filled-up bucket of milk? 
away from the crime scene. She oh, could have she could have dropped the bucket and then the milk spills. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but still. Uh, and we're speaking from we're, no, 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 we're speaking from the from the um from the 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 view of a person who didn't watch the fucking cutscene. <laughs> Mm, mm. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Break. Wolves steal it. Wolves that steal You okay, Nick? <laughs> what? How can you hear my thoughts? I I already I already told we we've already been through this. <laughs> anyway, remind me never to set foot in the forest. This is great, Nick. We've got new evidence now. I guess you're right. You know, Nick, you really don't look like just some normal run-of-the-mill baker. I'd say you're more like a somewhat articulate run-of-the-mill baker. I think That's you might so even have a knack for being a defender. There's a clear contradiction somewhere in the testimony, and I'm going to find it. Oh my god, before we do that... Okay. I'm going to save because I have a clear memory of having to start the case over again because I didn't save at good times. Uh, saving gets good. There's not a trace of fire to be seen in the area. Uh, wah, wah. Yeah. Glass is broken. <laughs> Help. Help. Help himself. Help! Help! Help me! I'm crawling! Oh, oh, it's in my mouth! Not what I was going for. I, I know. What is the matter, Defender? I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, look at those 3D graphics. I know. This is all scrolling. It's Sorry. Feeling. Just felt the urge to shout out. There's a shout out. Right from the bottom of my lungs. Pointing my finger. Objection! Can't help but feel that's a word I've used quite a bit in the past. That's it! I remember now! I remember everything! The Legal League of Attorneys Exchange. Your echo I, isn't on! <laughs> I thought I turned it on! The Legal League of Attorneys Exchange, the spells trial, and then that strange book. This feeling. I feel like he can take on the world. He lifts up the desk, fucking throws it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Duplexes the desk onto the <laughs> onto all the witnesses. Fuck all of you. Witness. What's with the sudden pointing? Uh, I am a soon-to-be member of the Honorable Knights of the Inquisition. I accept your challenge. Have at you! Wobble. Wobble. You said that no fire was present at the scene of the crime. Meaning, the defendant must have used magic. Unfortunately for you, that's not the case. What do you mean, Sir Apprentice Baker? What I mean is that the defendant was, in fact, carrying a lantern. A lantern containing fire. Those two rogues were actually burned by the flames that were inside that lantern. That is the only logical explanation. <laughs> They're unchanged. Why? What a startling conclusion you've come to, Sir Apprentice Baker. What do you mean? The only logical explanation. 
Do you agree with the statement, honorable witnesses? It is presumptuous for a man that knows nothing to claim that he knows something about which he really knows nothing. Yep. College student. <laughs> Besides, how could one teeny tiny flame be strong enough to set the both ablaze like that? Uh... There were two of them. How could that flame engulf them so fast? Uh... Furthermore, if they did burn as you claim they did, do you mean to suggest that they were soaked in oil or something? Oh. Well, Sir Blue Knight. It would seem you have bitten off more than you can chew. Definitely didn't see that coming. What say you, my lord? Do you have any thoughts on the proceedings thus far? What? Huh? You... What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? What's going on? I, uh... I had a nice dream. Given the testimony as we've heard it, this court has come to its conclusion. It was a truly gruesome and merciless act. An act for which the only one thing could be held. One, yeah. The, the nefarious crime of magic. Hold it! Wait! Wait just a second! Something you have forgotten to mention, Defender? Not exactly, Your Honor. It's just that, I mean, you're just you're using just magic. That can't be right, can it? Uh, what are you suggesting, Sir Apprentice Baker? Witches use magic, which in turn brings about disaster. Such is the way of this world, is, is it not? Well, yeah. That may seem to be the case. No way is that actually possible. Oh, this court finds a spell of Cantabella, the accused, charged with being a witch. A, a spell of a witch? The witch's existence in this world is a crime in itself. The ability to use and control magic is a criminal offense. No, indeed. As such, any witch found practicing magic be sentenced to death by fire. No! You are wrong! I'm not a witch! So, Apprentice Baker, I do not envy your current predicament. My lord, hand down your guilty verdict against this witch immediately. Objection, Your Honor, uh, my lord, but there's no evidence to prove that any magic was really used. <laughs> We're just talking to the bread boy. We all heard the gas huh? itself. That's right, Snowy, and I heard it. Isn't that right, Precious? We heard that incantation quite clearly. Uh. That frightening voice! There's no mistaking it, it was the Speller's voice! Uh... These ears do not lie! I clearly heard an incantation most sinister! Ignaz, it went! It... it... again? I... It... Ingena? Gedupushiba? Okay. It said the one. Oh. Sorry, I got a strange message. <laughs> Ignaz. That's no good. I just can't wrap my head around this topsy turvy otherworldly court. <clears throat> well then, it would seem the defense has no further objections. It, uh, <laughs> it appears so. This court finds the use of magic at the time of the murder to be an undeniable fact. Furthermore, the honorable witnesses have stated that they each heard an incantation being recited. Yeah. This court finds no reason to delay its verdict any longer. Nick, we have to do something. I know, but 
What exactly did we say? <clears throat> Here. Here in this world, our sense of logic is completely... Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Logic? This court is ready to hand down its verdict for the case of Espella Cantabella. Hold it. Hold it. Who oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Lego Man! Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus, Luke! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> verdict a moment longer. Luke looks so angry. What? What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who the fuck are you? That's what I would like to say! I believe will be of use to the defense. A weapon of sorts. Oh, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the Grand Grimoire. All of this world's magic is contained within its pages. Without it, this trial cannot reach a satisfactory conclusion. The Grand Grimoire. We meet again, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah, I'm here, by the way. <laughs> well, now, it seems that things are already afoot here. Although, the real contest begins now. Are you fully prepared? So, are you here to help us? Of course! The professor always helps people in trouble. It is the duty of every gentleman. My professor? P professor? There is a saying that I find quite useful in, in situations such as these, as this. There is a time for words and a time for action. But not now. Right. There's a time and place for everything. This is not it. <clears throat> You've been working as a baker in this town up until now, have you not? I must say, I'm a, I am a little mystified. I'd have expected you to be more familiar with this world and its system of magic. Uh, yeah. How can I put it? I guess it's not quite the full story. Is that so? I kind of had an epiphany just now. I remembered all sorts of things. Like how I'm not actually a baker. And well, how magic can't really exist. Then it would seem I was correct about you, Mr. Wright. You are not, in fact, a citizen of this town. Is that correct? Right. At least, it seems that way. However, for now, we have no option but to accept this world and its rules as a reality. Without first understanding those rules, I'm afraid you will not be able to save Miss Cantabella. But things like magic only exist in fairy tales and make-believe. I'm afraid, Mr. Wright, it would seem magic does, in fact, exist in this world. Such a truth cannot be denied. Indeed, that is why the Grand Grimoire is a weapon well suited for this witch trial. At the moment, you are a tent you are tantamount to a, a knight without a sword. Oh yeah, that animation. Mm-hmm. I remember him doing that quite a bit later on. Mm. I feel like I feel more like an attorney without a chance, actually. Oh god, switching between that... Barnum and Layton is actually going to be really tough, because it's it's yeah, huh? it's in the same region of my vocal. <laughs> uh, um, professor. Oh, Yeah, and this one we actually have to go through because it's new. Uh, I guess. Have a look at the touch screen. There you'll see the Grand Grimoire button. Touching the button will open up a Grand Grimoire. Yeah. A Grim yeah. Grimoire. Not the one. <laughs> yeah, a one. A one. You'll be able to present spells from the Grand Grimoire in much the same way you would present evidence. This book will surely be a most important asset for us in this trial. Oh, that reminds me! I've gone ahead and bookmarked the spell Ignace for you! Ignace? That's the magic spell all the witnesses said they heard, right? 
Nick, you should take a look at that spell. All I have to do- ah, ah. <laughs> All I have to do is touch the Frank Grimoire button. And it's Ignace. The Inferno spell. Summon the circle of flame within a one meter radius of the caster. Requires an incantation and scepter to cast. Mm -hmm. The defender has been given more. <laughs> <laughs> the judge is just thinking really hard. <laughs> He's thinking so hard that everyone can hear him. The defender has been given more than enough time. It would seem this trial has reached its end. Is that under is that understood understood, Sir Apprentice Baker? This case is quite straightforward, with very little room for doubt. The witness's testimony, coupled with the illustration of the time of the murder, makes it quite clear what must have occurred. This murder was a result of magic. And furthermore, the caster of said magic was none other than <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out who that was. Uh, we're getting close to the end, though. <clears throat> and of the episode, that is. Not the case. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, for and furthermore, the caster of said magic was none other than the accused. <clears throat> that, Sir Apprentice Baker, is the truth. Best go back to your baking, for I believe your days in the courtroom has crumbled. You don't know that! Is, it, is everything okay, Mr. Wright? Oh no, it, it's literally the same voice, except one is more announcer than the other. <laughs> okay. Is everything okay, yes. Mr. Wright? Yes! Hmm, it would, it would appear that photographs do not exist in this world. Photos don't exist? I guess it makes sense, ye old time period and all. <laughs> the sketch drawn by the court by the court illustrator. Therein lies your final chance, Mr. Wright. My final chance. I understand the witnesses have already finished their testimonies. However, if you could perhaps find a clear contradiction within this illustration. There's another contradiction. <laughs> contradiction? Yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is. And we'll figure that out next time. Mm-hmm. In the next episode of Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. You never did your intro, didn't you? I did. You never did the whole thing with, like, No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes I skip out on it. Uh. Anyway. Yeah. In the next episode, we're going to find out what that contradiction is. Well, you guys are going to see what the contradiction is. I already know. <laughs> yep. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Bye!